Hello, hello, Crafty Kernel fam. Welcome to another video. Today I am painting in my travel sketchbook, which I keep as an art journal. I've spoken about art journaling before and actually made a video when I previously painted in this sketchbook, which I will leave linked up above for you if you're interested. In that video, I talk about the benefits of keeping an art journal and why I do so. So if you're interested in this topic at all, then go check out that video. For today, I thought that I would just do a painting and talk about some of my recent travels as it's not really a topic that I get to talk about on this channel because this is an art channel. <laughs> but since I'm doing the artwork of my travels, I thought that it would be kind of fun to just share some of my personal stories and, you know, have you guys get to know me a little bit more. Please leave in the comments down below a travel story for me of yours because I would love to get to know you as well. So this is from a trip that I took from, to Florida. I went to Orlando and Daytona, as it said. I never thought that I would be a person to go to a NASCAR race. I didn't really like NASCAR previously, and so I never figured I'd go to one. It's funny because we actually have a NASCAR track really near to where I live. I mean, not like really near, but a few hours away. And so I assumed that if I were ever to go to a NASCAR race, I would go to one there. <laughs> but lo and behold, I went all the way to Daytona to see my first NASCAR race. So uh, it was very fun. It was interesting. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And I got to see Luke Combs play, which was a big contributing factor to why I wanted to go. And um, Luke Combs is a great, he's a musician, country artist. If you're curious, if you've never heard him, he's fantastic. He should be coming out with a new album soon. So check him out. The sunset over the track was just phenomenal, and so I definitely wanted to capture that in this art piece. So I chose to do the sunset across the entire kind of scene. Then I added, obviously, the Daytona track, because that was a big part of this vacation, and then also added an armadillo. Prior to leaving, I had talked to my dad about how there are armadillos in the wild in Florida. I didn't realize this, but randomly I had Googled it and they were there in the wild. And so I, when I went, all I wanted to see was an armadillo in the wild. I didn't particularly like seek this out. I didn't go to a zoo or something or like a nature preserve. I just was curious if I would be able to find one just chilling. And lo and behold, I did. There was an armadillo. We were driving back from Kennedy Space Center and there was an armadillo on the road and he was absolutely adorable so that was like the highlight of this vacation which i know sounds absolutely ridiculous we went to disney we went to the kennedy space center we went to see the daytona 500 and the biggest highlight for me was the armadillo <laughs> that one fleeting moment when i got to see the armadillo so what does that tell you about me hopefully it tells you that i'm an animal lover <laughs> i absolutely love animals and this was such a treat for me. I was so excited. So he got a feature spot in this travel journal entry and now I can remember him forever and ever and ever. And I can hope to see another armadillo at some point because I'm sure I'll be back in Florida soon. I tend to go to Florida quite a bit. I've already actually gone twice this year, so we'll see what happens in the future. I spoke a little bit about how we went to Kennedy Space Center, and that was also just phenomenal. If you've never been to Kennedy Space Center and you have a trip planned to Orlando, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you add it to your itinerary. Additionally, I recommend that you spend a whole day there. Unfortunately, we only had a few hours there, and I wish that we had spent longer just exploring the entire facility because there is so much to do there. It is so cool and it's just really breathtaking. So absolutely worth the time, investment, and the money that it costs to go. 10 out of 10 recommend. Additionally, we went to Disney. <laughs> of course, we had to go to Disney. We went to Hollywood Studios, and I was honestly, the, the worst part about this vacation was Disney. How can you even say that? I know. But I didn't realize in Hollywood Studio that when they um, act when they redid the Star Wars exhibit, they stopped doing like the March of the Stormtroopers, which was like my very favorite part of Hollywood Studios last time I went. So I was all excited <laughs> that I was going to get to see it again, and lo and behold, they weren't even doing it anymore. So that was super disappointing, but it was the 50th anniversary celebration. I think they were, they're celebrating it all year, so 
nothing you know too unique but they had a bunch of these really cool gold statues all around the one that i took a picture of and decided to commemorate in this rendition of our trip is the bb-8 because he was adorable and i really enjoyed seeing all of the statues that they had available and actually got to explore the rest of the parks in a different trip that i took to orlando this year so i saw pretty much all of the ones that they have in the park for the 50th anniversary which was super cool the base was this really awesome metallic color and i think i actually did a decent job of capturing it in this rendition so kudos to me <laughs> i can actually color match for once in my life additionally down at the bottom you see the disney springs air hot air balloon our hotel was super close to disney springs so we spent a bit of time there we went to a restaurant called chicken guy which was guy fieri's chicken restaurant <laughs> it was delicious uh, I love fried chicken, like chicken strips, not really fried chicken, but like chicken strips. They were so good. They had all of these amazing sauces that you could try and they were really unique. I got a really spicy one and then I got a like barbecue honey mustard. It was delicious. Highly recommend if you are looking for somewhere fun to eat in Disney Springs that you check it out. Although Disney Springs is chock full of amazing restaurants, so there is no shortage of food there. Any Anything that you want, they've got something for everyone. Absolutely. So you should definitely not have a problem finding something to eat in Disney Springs. I'm curious, have you guys ever been to Disney? Have you been to Florida? What would you recommend as things to do there? And what would you recommend as my next trip or like places to add to my list of places that I want to go? Top of the list right now, as far as international locations, would be Prague and the Czech Republic. I am super interested in going. I would love to see my favorite band, Blue October, there. That is kind of at the top of the list. But also on the list would be to go back to Japan, back to Switzerland, because both of those places were phenomenal. Another place on my list would be Scotland. I love uh, Highland cattle, and I would love to see them in the wild. That would be a super fun trip. And also uh, either South Africa or New Zealand to see some penguins in the wild. As far as local or domestic places within the United States, I would love to go to Utah. I plan on going to Utah soon, at least for snowboarding at some point, and hope to kind of expand my United States travel at some point uh, to include more of the West Coast and more of the Midwest. I'd love to go to Chicago. That's on the list as well. So I would really love to hear your suggestions of places to travel to. Where was your favorite place to travel to? I think that it's just so uh, enlightening to go to new places. It really changes your perspectives and it is also just a really great way to learn more about other people, other cultures, and so I would really love to hear your suggestions down below. Additionally, do you keep an art journal? Curious to know if you are also an art journaler like me and if you do art journal, what do you journal about? Because I know a lot of people journal about like the food that they eat or the places that they go or just their day to day and I'm really curious to know. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was kind of a fun off the cuff little get to know me, get to know my travels and story time kind of video. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of content and would like to see more similar videos in the future or if you prefer more informative or more art related content. <laughs> Thanks guys so much. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!